being a leader in law enforcement, how did you react to failure? Own it. You own it. You got to own it. You, yeah. you got to, you got to own it. Ego and authority. Ego prevents people from owning failure. Um, Why and, do you think that is? Like, well, because it's, 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 embar- it's embarrassment. It's self-image. If I admit to a failure, that meant, that means I didn't do something or I didn't know something mm-hmm. and, or I didn't execute appropriately. My strategy stunk. Mm-hmm. All of those are, are, can be damaging to your ego. But in law enforcement, I, it, at least for me, I had to own it. Mm-hmm. And even if it was not a failure that I had a direct hand in, even if it was a failure, failure on execution on the part of my team, mm-hmm. let's say my team went out and screwed something up. You're right. It's not on them. It's on you. It's yeah. on me. Right. Let's say they, they went out and they screwed something up because of poor execution or because of lack of motivation mm-hmm. or insubordination. Mm-hmm. It's still on me. Right. It's never on them. Do you think that helps diffuse like heated situations sometimes? Like there's a problem and it's like <clears throat> everyone's upset and then you take the blame and, and even, I mean, cause it's not like take the blame for no reason, but if you, you know, you say in your leader, you take the blame. And then do you think that can help diffuse some of the heat? It helps diffuse uh, the heat, uh, especially in the, in the team dynamic sense, Mm -hmm. because it, because you're telling them it's, 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 it's my bad. If they do something because they were being insubordinate, Mm -hmm. it's because I haven't led properly. Right. If there's a low motivation Mm -hmm. and they're just lazy, (laughs) <laughs> it's not their problem. It's mm-hmm. my problem because I failed to motivate. And if it's a poor execution, I fail to instruct. Mm. Either way, I right. fail. I think that's what makes a great leader. You know? And well, I appreciate that. And I and I think keeping it keep it in keeping it in context. You're going mm-hmm. to fail because you're dealing with human beings and human beings are kind of fallible. Fail. Right. So after every, for example, every hostage job that we went on, I'd get to a whiteboard and I'd write, one column would say right, one column would say wrong. <laughs> and I'd say, let's, let's talk about all the things that we did right. Boom, 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 boom. We'd make a list. And then in the wrong column, what did we do wrong? Mm-hmm. And we'd write those lists out. And I said, own them. We're owning these mistakes. Right. When you go out again, guess what? You're going to make mistakes again. Absolutely. Just make sure they're not these mistakes. Make sure right, that all the, the mistakes... Same- are brand new ones. Yep. yep. 